17. January comes. My father is worse. February. He's declining. Worse and worse. We're in the hospital with him almost every day. Um, February 14th, he dies. Valentine's Day, February 14th. And uh, it was an amazing experience. The, the night before, I had uh, slept on the uh, waiting room chairs, couches, whatever, curled up. Uh, woke up, cold sweat, ran into my dad's room. He was, uh, with everybody else was there, and he was taking his last breaths. And you could hear the rattle. The energy in the room was very, very thick and powerful, as we all just we were, we were there with him. And then on, on the exhale, he stopped. And it stopped. And it was over. He was declared dead. My family hung around for a few moments, and then they needed to go outside. I refused to go. I, I, I knew he was dead, but I, I refused to go. Um, everybody was in shock. We prepared for this for years, and still we were unprepared. Um, and it, it was uh, overwhelming. My father was my, my God, not just my father. I worshipped the man, and he was dying, and he had died, and I was there. And as I, as I stood at the side of his bed, an amazing thing happened. Um, he was cold to the touch, but I could see an energy from his body kind of like gathering together around his solar plexus, which is where we have our family problems. He lost three quarters of his stomach before uh, the, he got the cancer and he had reticular cell sarcoma. Uh, ulcers, just a hard guy, hard, hard life. 59 years old, and I watched in the energy, it, it kind of like raised out of his solar plexus and almost like a ball uh, that was about, you know, about that big around and it, uh, it, it hovered over his body about, I don't know, six or seven inches. And it was, the only way I can describe it is it was transparent, but yet you could see it kind of like heat off of a pavement. Um, and that's the energy I saw. And then it kind of like hovered there for a few moments. And then it dispersed into the air. And as it dispersed in the air, I, I could feel that that was my dad. That was my father, and it was okay. Because each piece of him, as it, went, as it dispersed, it went through me. And it really made me feel like I was part of it all. And I was part of him, and the part of him that was me was not dead, was still alive, and I could always access him through 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 that element of me. I don't know, kind of crazy. It just made me feel um, made me feel wonderful, and I um, I wish other people could experience that that end of life. I guess you could call it hope in, in the recycling of, of the spirit and the way it happens, the ebb and flow of it. And you're part of that process. Anyhow, that was my father's experience and my experience with him. And uh, death is never easy. And um, 
always sad, and sometimes we can be proudful of the road, the end of the road for that person, that loved one. As I was very proud of my father to have uh, gone through that road with such dignity, and uh, that was him.